if we have we only have one servo motor that is uh, currently connected to our Arduino Uno, we can use the uh, power supply of our Ardu Arduino. If we have now consume uh, more than 300 milliampere, or we have the two or more micro servo or servo motor that is uh, that we will be using, we should uh, use an external power uh, supply shown here to avoid damaging our Arduino. Okay, since typically uh, one servo motor only have the, uh, when it is rotating 100 to 250 milliampere. So more than 300 milliampere now will damage our Arduino. So an external power supply is uh, needed. Okay, now to connect your external power supply, okay, just connect instead of connecting directly the 5 volts in our um, Arduino. Okay, the one that you will now be using is the supply of the um, external. Okay, the red would be connected uh, to the um, positive 5 volts of our adapter. Okay? The bottom line is that instead of three, okay, three wires connected on our Arduino, it will now be only two wires connected, which is the ground and then the uh, control wire. Okay, the ground also should be connected to the adapter. Okay, two connections for the ground. So take note for that. Uh, only the changes under the connection of five volts that will be supplied by the adapter itself. Okay. Now let us proceed to the sketches and then the demonstration afterwards. Okay. So we have here the sketch of an Arduino. We will be explaining that one. Okay. While we are to upload this code. So allow me to. open to connect the Arduino Uno and then together with the uh, servo motor. Okay. And then, okay. So opening the Arduino here and then okay. Yeah, let's just copy the code initially before we explain. And then the other one. Okay. Control T to auto format. Okay. Double check, of course, your board. It is Arduino Uno. Now uh, your COM port. Okay. And then we're now ready. No? Uh, press the upload. Save. Me explain the code itself. Okay. So since we are using now the uh, um, servo motor, we will be calling, of course, the uh, servo library. Uh, fortunately, we have uh, an inbuilt, okay? Uh, in inbuilt already upon downloading the Arduino IDE, we have here the servo library. So you can verify that one under sketched and then this include library. So basically, we have now the servo motor library in it, okay? So, uh, upon creating the uh, servo library, uh, hash include servo, calling the Arduino library, okay? we have here the following, uh, performing now the uh, creating an object, okay? creating an object, new object for the servo motor itself. And then uh, from this, uh, this servo now, my servo, you can have multiple a uh, servo that is connected. Uh, for you can call depending on what you will uh, name that one. You can say that my servo one, my servo two, my servo three, and so on. So you can change the code, okay, to define that uh, what your servo. Now, depending on your microcontroller, you can change this uh, PW pin, okay. Uh, into any PW digital pin on the or Arduino itself. Uh, in our case, let's just uh, use the default one on our uh, wirings, okay, or on per, okay, in our wirings, which is nine. And then from that, we have initialized uh, variables, okay, uh, for initial position, okay, zero degrees. Now, let us now proceed with our a void setup menu wherein we call now that pin on our uh, servo library. And then uh, from that, 
Uh, this one, 20, 60, 80, 140, 180, is actually the angle. Right? The precise angle that we want our servo motor to uh, move. Now, so there is a delay of uh, 0.5 seconds in each of its uh, rotation. So, very um, straightforward code to understand. Depending on your application, you can modify this code. Okay. So, uh, this one is the uploaded code already. You can see here in my screen. Upon upload, uploading. Okay. So, 20, okay. 60, and so on. Okay. And then, since we have that one on the loop, so from 180 degrees position, it will go back to the uh, 20 degrees position based on the uh, void loop that we have. Okay. Uh, performing another one based on our presentation here, uh, we need to another sketch that is inbuilt. Uh, we will be using in build example here. Okay, let us proceed to the examples, the uh, servo, and then the zip. This example, as we have said, is uh, very useful in debugging our uh, our sensors, okay, our modules on the Arduino. So basically, if you have the, uh, downloaded already the library, so just proceed to a file, examples, the one that you have downloaded the library, for example, in this case, where with the servo. So this is utilize this one. So example, then servo, and then sweep, and then just re-upload. Okay. So no, nothing will change. Okay, if we don't, I mean that will be change depending on Arduino is the pin. All right. So let us scrutinize this one. Same, calling the servo library, and then as you can see, servo, my servo, not not will change initial position or the angle, uh, and then attaches servo to pin nine. You can see, and then just a looping. So based on this one, uh, the basic concept under for loop is that it will tell our servo, okay, to move one degrees at a time until 180 degrees right and then if it turns up uh, if it now turns to 180 full rotation of our servo it will go back counter clockwise right As shown here okay here is the uploaded part our arduino so as you can see here so moving from counter clockwise and then clockwise direction, okay, clockwise, and then counterclockwise direction, okay, have one degree movement, precise movement of our servo motor. Okay, continuing with the presentation, here we have, the, okay, so basically we're done with our presentation under servo motor. Okay. Uh, the main, let us just review what we have learned. So basically, we have discussed the concept of interfacing the SG90 servo motor with a microcontroller. Basically, the concept is uh, it contains uh, three wires on it the positive, the five volts, the ground, and then the control uh, uh, wire. So that's it for interfacing the um, servo motor with the Arduino. The main concern that we have is when we have multiple servo motor that we're working on, so the best option so that we could not damage our Arduino is to connect an external power supply. Take note of the volts. It should be uh, 5 to 6 volts only. Okay, power supply. Just change the connection under the 5 volts instead of connecting directly with the Arduino, connect that one on the adapter. So uh, basically, that's the uh, main key point under interfacing our servo motor with our uh, microcontroller. Just manipulate the codes that we have uh, demonstrated to you and then shown to you. Then manipulate also under the examples under servo motor and then you can uh, do any applications that you will uh, want to do. 
Okay? And then, we have demonstrated also, okay, uh, the basic use of the said servo motor to precisely control the rotation or linear movement uh, of an uh, object. Okay, specifically, we have the shown you the rotation uh, per specific position, okay, as shown here. Yeah, basically, we have just initialized for zero position here. So, from 20 degrees, okay, 60, 100, 140, and 180. And then, our last code is that from the in-bid example and the reservo motor, it will um, rotate one from zero to 180 degrees back and forth. Okay? Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise direction. So, that's the concept and then the basic demonstration of how to use our servo uh, motor. Okay? So, that uh, uh, that formally ends our presentation uh, for today and then demonstration under Arduino project, specifically the servo motor. Uh, thank you and have a good day.